I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell community developer. We'll be taking you into the later stages of a mission that happens in the midst of a blacklist attack from a global terrorist unit called the Engineers. Looks like Louisiana, Sabine Pass. That's the biggest fuel facility on the Gulf Coast. Every fuel facility on the coast has been infected. If that fire spreads. They'll all go up one by one. Three, two, one, go, 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 go! Grim. I'm on the ground, headed toward the down chopper. There's gotta be a way to stop this fire. If you can find me a terminal, I can nuke the virus, clear their system. If you can make the run to the terminal building, Sam, Charlie can shut the flow of gas down. Tell me the opposite's not flammable and I'll take a shot. Right. Good luck with that. The engineers have hacked a Louisiana liquid natural gas terminal, disabling its firefighting system. They then rammed a tanker into the terminal, turning the whole place into a seemingly irreparable inferno. Sam has to maneuver through the burning facility to get to the control center to stop the flow of gas and prevent further destruction. Sam, I've managed to hack into the engineer's combo in the terminal. You want to listen? Pass me through. In Splinter Cell Blacklist, Sam has become the leader of 4th Echelon, an elite clandestine spec ops unit. I've reached the terminal. Great. The control room is on the top floor. Sam's team offers support while he's in the field. Hang on. In this particular mission, Charlie needs Sam to access the controls so that he can hack back in and reactivate the fire prevention system. Pulled it off, Charlie. I have control of it all. Lights, doors, security feet. Now that the blaze has been contained, Sam has to hunt down the leader of this blacklist attack. Sending you the location. I'm moving. Here we have the deadly heavy infantry. These enemies are decked out in full body armor, meaning that open combat is probably not a great idea. Neither is trying to take them head on. They're also immune to sleeping gas, electrical weapons, and rounds from the crossbow and tri-rotor. So you have to play it smart. If you want to engage them, do so from behind or above. Nothing stupid now, you might get burned. The sticky camera not only has a noisemaker that can distract the heavy infantry, but it can also release sleeping gas. Check this out. Pop off his helmet, removing his gas mask. Night, night. If you want to go lethal, another option is the incendiary grenade. The heavy infantry's armor is impenetrable to everything but fire. And this brings the heat. Down to ground level if you can, Sam. You're right on top of the leader. Shit! The systems are back online. They must have retaken the facility. Should have a visual on the leader now, Sam. Go. Moving in. Sam must now work fast. With backup from Charlie, he's got to chase down the engineer leader and gain more intel about the blacklist attacks. Got it. Get the 
ambulance ready. Sadiq needs me out of here, now! This was just a small slice of the map. They're escaping in an ambulance. Get the UAV up and track it. Stay tuned for more news about Splinter Cell Blacklist in the weeks to come, and as always, thanks for watching.